All right, I'm Dominique Davison, founder and CEO of Planet Impact. We are a web-based application for the building and construction industry. We help architects, engineers, and owners to better optimize building efficiency uh, for new construction as well as renovation projects. So we do this faster and easier than any other product that's out on the market um, and for the earliest phase of, de of design. And by providing this data, it's actually really, really important because this is a very big problem. Not having data early in the design process when people are making those early design decisions, the first 20% of decisions you make impact 80% of that building's performance over a, its lifetime. So the way that we're designing now essentially is leading to this massive waste problem, $171 billion of waste in the U.S. alone. And McKinsey estimates that $130 billion of that is easily recoupable if we just designed smarter. And that doesn't even include stormwater, water, transportation in terms of waste and how we could be doing that better. So we are that better solution that allows teams to work uh, together collaboratively and gather the necessary data. So we scrape information from the model. Uh, we work with the engineers in terms of how their um, build their uh, uh, expertise is brought to the table. Um, we combine that with open data and our algorithms in order to create a, a very fast and easy to use platform that gives you information across all of these uh, important key indicators for sustainability. We also are very important in the smart city space. Uh, we have a very crucial um, opportunity there in terms of a second um, uh, opportunity for, for, for revenue uh, because people don't just need data about how their buildings are working, but they need to understand why that data is relevant. And we turn it into uh, actionable information that they can um, use to optimize their buildings. So our customers are the mechanical, electrical, plumbing engineers, architects, um, those folks are trying to get to the table earlier with owners. They're trying to iterate. They're trying to be, um, you know, they're under a lot of pressure in terms of keeping projects on time and on budget. And when you don't have cost data associated with the decisions you're making early on, it leads to expensive uh, rework that they don't get paid for. Um, and then, of course, smart cities are a huge opportunity. It really is the next market opportunity. Uh, we are seeing something um, unprecedented in the building and construction space with the advent of IoT, uh, with sensors, uh, big data, open data, building information modeling, and artificial intelligence, where we are going to be able to optimize the buildings that we spend 90% of our time in, by the way, um, much better than we ever have before. And we really need to be solving this. Um, so this is how it works. Essentially, you can very quickly, uh, within minutes, obtain some information about the baseline construction um, operational costs, rather operational costs of your construction project. And then you can very quickly iterate and understand lighting, insulation, and systems uh, benefits in terms of different options. And this really works. This is, what's so exciting is uh, seeing this. We have this product already out in the market. Um, when teams do this process, they on average save about 20% or they, they end up picking solutions that save 20% on their operational costs over time. Uh, we even have a project that we're working on currently where the owners decided to go for the option that was an 80% reduction in water usage. Um, so certainly here in California, that would be very relevant. So market opportunity, it's a growing market just in the AEC software space. It's an $11 billion space. Um, we are a SaaS model product, so $2,500 a year recurring revenue. Uh, we are launched with our 2.3 version. We've been at this for three years, uh, and we have some really key uh, national market leaders as as clients of ours: Gibbons, Drake, Scott, Engineers, Olson Associates, BNIM Architects, uh, and Gould Evans Associates. Or, um, and uh, they're giving us really great feedback, and we're integrating that into the platform. We're really uh, thrilled to uh, say that our version 3.0 uh, with Revit integration is going to be launched in January. So there's a little bit of a competitive uh, space here, obviously, but we are really laser focused on what are the kinds of data that our clients need uh, to be able to drive that decision making for smarter um, building design. 
Our team is seasoned. This is my second startup. I built a service-based company to over 1.5 million in revenue and have been recognized in my region for sustainability and business leadership. Uh, we also have a number of folks from the tech industry, um, Handmark uh, uh, founding employee there who had a successful e exit, um, Ryan Sutton. And then uh, we also have a number of folks from the enterprise and SaaS um, technology space who are, um, and also um, big data. So we're currently in a seed round. Um, so far, we've been bootstrapping this. We've gotten $150,000 of grant funding um, from the Mozilla Foundation. We're a US Ignite team. Uh, we've gotten uh, a lot of other great support um, from even our one of our initial customers invested in us. And uh, we are going to be using that uh, those funds to scale our team and to um, hit the market strong with our version 3.0. So finally, smart cities, I just want to leave that with you, that this is really a, an important um, and meaningful um, innovation uh, phase that we're entering in terms of the next tech boom. Um, building profit and efficiency across the value chain is something that we are very much focused on, and we are leading that industry um, through smarter um, design and making it fast and easy because sustainability should not be expensive and it should not be unaffordable. Thank you. So talk a little bit about what makes up your simulations. I mean, there, there obviously needs to be a great deal of engineering data and actual data. And is that mm -hmm. proprietary to you or how is that built up? Yeah, so it's a pretty complex um, engine of, of pulling model data, um, having databases of incremental building costs, data, um, code information, and then we're also pulling from a variety of different APIs like National Oceanic and Atmospheric Association, the U.S. Census data, uh, walk score. Um, you know, so we're we're pulling data from a lot of different sources, and then we're pulling it through our algorithms and our our um, hard coded databases. So right now, um, that's something we our code is copyrighted, and we're just continuing to you know move fast. Is this a feature on existing building information modeling um, structures, or is this actually a product that you see there's going to be a second product, third product? So we see this as uh, the way it's modularized now in terms of, you know, we've really focused hard on the energy and the water piece. And then we have initial uh, versions of the stormwater and the transportation modules. Um, there's opportunities for us to go deeper on each of those and, and become more um relevant to the civil engineering space or the landscape architecture space. So it has a lot of opportunity for us to scale it um, to other parts of um, the, you know, the design community. But also, um, as I mentioned, with the smart city space, um, folks who are getting into, um, you know, building out dashboards, the the Siemens, the Johnson Controls, the Honeywells, all those folks are also really interested in this digital twin idea and how do you take existing building data and cross-reference it um, with this kind of fast benchmarking calculation capability that we have. How does do that you answer your question? It does, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. How do you plan to uh, scale your business? Will you be chasing the MEPs and architects and, uh, and everybody else, or are you going to be working with a Revit so that you can get to scale much more quickly? It's definitely a push and a pull market. So we're, we are working first with those architects and engineers. We're going after, um, you know, some prime projects that we know we can um, uh, have as beacon customers and beacon opportunities. Um, but we also are aware that we need to be educating municipalities and, and sharing with them the benefits of this kind of benchmarking for them to be able to, you know, meet their climate action plans. Um so it, it comes from multiple sides and then also, yeah, partnering and, and talking to the, um, the Trimbles and the Autodesks. <laughs>